as a CDL holder with one year accident free driving experience you should be earning at least eighty thousand dollars a year GP Transco just raised their base pay to sixty cents a mile and their first year safe drivers are earning between eighty and ninety five thousand dollars a year that's another six cents a mile with accessorial pay and bonuses they've got a 401k with a five percent match they've got benefits we've referred many many drivers to gp transco and we always get positive feedback check them out at gptransco.com truck driver or steering wheel holder which one are you I still laugh when I hear the expression steering wheel holder. The first time I ever heard that expression, my friend Mike Davison was telling me I was a steering wheel holder. Now, Mike was an old school guy and he could roll to the side of the road in minus 20 degree weather and do an in-frame on his truck under a tarp. I couldn't do that, wouldn't do that. I'd have mine towed to a shop. But back then, Mike's definition of a real truck driver was a mechanic that also drove a truck. Well, that may have been his definition back then, but these days, it's a whole different kettle of fish. These days, the truck drivers, the professional truck drivers, are the guys that do what they do and do it well. They concentrate on timeliness, safety, keeping their rigs in good shape, stuff like that. The steering wheel holders, on the other hand, and we've all seen those guys, especially at the truck stops, are the slobs in the sweatpants and the flip-flops with garbage all over the dash of the truck, strolling in and out, parking in the fuel islands because they're too lazy to walk from the lot when they want to go in and have their annual shower. Now, it's a sad statement that trucking has come to the point where we even have guys like that. And most of the ones that you see oddly enough, are working for the mega carriers. Now, I'm not saying that every truck driver that works for a mega carrier is a slob and a steering wheel holder, but I am saying that's where you tend to see these kind of guys working. And they're working for low wages for mega carriers because they know in the back of their heads, they're not particularly good at their job. They really don't care about doing a good job. And they figure that that's the best they're ever going to be able to do. Now, truck drivers, professional truck drivers on the other hand, have a whole different focus. They care about what they do and how they do it. They care about how they look. They want to look professional. They want to be courteous to the customers and to other drivers as well. They don't want to dress like slobs. They know what their equipment is up to. They know what kind of shape it's in. They know when to get it fixed or when to get the oil changed. Steering wheel holders on the other hand, yep, they can get in the truck and hold the steering wheel, but generally they have no idea what's going on around the truck with the traffic, the road conditions, anything. They're usually just sitting there staring straight ahead with their earbuds in, listening, listening to music and wondering if they'll be the next star of bonehead truckers. There's a big difference between a professional driver and a steering wheel holder. When you see these steering wheel holders, that makes a statement on what the carrier must be like, how desperate that carrier must be to employ drivers like that, because drivers are a representation of the company that they work for. So, you know, the big mega carriers makes you wonder if they're worth working for at all when you see stuff like that and who it is that they're prepared to hire. The six digit salaries for truck drivers these days are not being won by the steering wheel holders and the slobs. They're being earned by professional drivers that care enough to do their job really, really well and keep their equipment in top-notch shape, deliver on time, and safety. Safety is always on their minds. They're not running into cars or having accidents or anything. A professional truck driver is what you want to be and what you want to strive for. Quick story. Uh, let me tell you about a steering wheel holder I saw not too long ago. And God, you see them all the time these days. And that's a scary thought in itself. Why, why the last few years we're seeing so many of these guys. But I was touring down, down the 400 Highway Series in my car on the way to the city. And it was a bright sunny day. And I'm catching up to a truck. And I can see sparks 
flying out from underneath the truck. So I get up close to the truck to see where the sparks are coming from. And here's a guy with his earbuds in, doodly doing on the steering wheel, not ever looking in the mirrors. And he'd forgotten to roll up his landing gear. So here's this truck and trailer skipping down the highway with the landing gear still down, ricocheting off the pavement, causing sparks. And as soon as I figured out what it was, I got ahead of the landing gear in case it spit out because I didn't want it to hit me in the, in the windshield. I tried to get a hold of this guy, I tried to signal him, but you know, I didn't want to pull in front of him and start tapping the brakes because I didn't know how, how big a fool he really was, so I didn't want to risk my safety. And eventually I never did get his attention and I just carried on. And I often wonder whatever happened to that guy. Sooner or later, I'm sure he tore off the landing gear on a bump or a rut and it went through somebody's windshield. But you know, that's a steering wheel holder. Professional drivers are focused on what's going on around them all the time. Don't be a steering wheel holder. Strive to be a professional. Keep the rubber side down and we'll see you on the backhaul.